Hi guys, hope all of you are doing good and the most awaited Smart India Hackathon results are out now. Three batches results have been finally passed out and the fourth batch results are loading very soon. And moreover, the finale dates have been finalized that is from December 19 and 20th for the software edition, 19 to 23 for the hardware edition. But there is a small problem there. I guess most of the students are having their exams during that time. I hope that the Smart India Hackathon panel will consider that and I have been receiving a lot of mails saying that please reschedule. Guys, I am just an evaluator. I am not the organizing panel. And I have also mailed from my side as an evaluator for rescheduling. Let's see what uh, the panel does. I hope they do the best because without the students, what even they are going to conduct. And now let's get into this video. What this video is about. So for the teams who have been shortlisted for the finale, what are the next steps? What are the next thing you have to do? And we are going to talk about this in this entire video along with our journey of Smart India Hackathon 2022. How we went through the process, what we did, what strategies we used, how we went and won the Smart India Hackathon all together as a whole. And this video is going to come in two parts so that it doesn't be boring to you. And before getting into the video, a small message for the people who have not been shortlisted for the finale don't be disheartened uh, failure is always a stepping stone of success and i myself and my team myself is an example of that smart india hackathon 2020 we were also eliminated the same way we learned from our mistakes we gave a comeback last year we won smart india hackathon this year we are selected as the evaluators of smart india hackathon so life is a jigsaw puzzle so just don't worry i i have i received so many messages from people's uh, feeling so bad about not getting selected. It's not a problem. It's a learning process. There's no end for knowledge and you are already champions. Okay, so don't give up. Keep fighting. Good times will come. Let's get into the video. And in this video, we are going to talk about what are the things that are to be done during the 36 hour hackathon and the prerequisites that are to be done before the hackathon. So when you get uh, selected, that is after the internal hackathon is completed, you will be submitting uh, uh, your idea through your college in the Smart India Hackathon portal. Following that, in a gap of one or two months, we will be getting the results of who on your problem statement has been shortlisted. So the number of people who are shortlisted may be five ideas, it may be three ideas, and it may be even zero. Last year, there were multiple problem statements which had no uh, teams that were shortlisted so the value of the idea is so crucial here so when you get shortlisted you will be getting a mail uh, stating that your team has been uh, shortlisted just like the one which is in the screen and you will need to go into your portal and you need to acknowledge it that uh, yes i will be taking part in the finale so if you if you miss acknowledging it your team will be automatically eliminated so this is the first thing after you get shortlisted and following that uh, you will be uh, asked to submit the details of your team and uh, uh, stuffs relating to the hackathon and this was the time when we faced some uh, crucial stuff as I said in the previous video three of my team members they stepped back just uh, 20 days before the hackathon so I had actually mailed the smart India hackathon stating my situation and I was not honestly I was not expecting any reply from them I thought it was over then and there because at least five members had to be there and we had already lost three members but we got a mail uh, stating that we can uh, replace with three new members which was something which I never expected and it seems like most people from uh, India has requested for that, most students have requested for that and it was our pleasure because we had to capitalize on that and we had just two days of time I think it was, we received the mail on August 3rd and within August 5th we had to register it just as it should have been, it should be mentioned here. So we had to rush up the entire process, I joined with my juniors, they joined in my team and uh, in this process we need to start the registration which we had done initially. It's like a revamp of the entire process in just uh, two days and we need to get an acknowledgement form from our college stating that these are the members who are going to partake in the hackathon and uh, here all of the names of three team members at the start are the new members who have 
joined us and we were all uh, set to go following uh, the team confirmation and all stuff that you are going to partake in the hackathon everything then we will be taking the details of the nodal center what does nodal center mean the location where the hackathon is going to take place uh, last year as it was 75th independence it took place in 75 different locations and we got uh, acs college of engineering bangalore and this will also be updated in the site and we will be receiving a mail the best thing here that everything will be receiving as a mail and uh, that is perfect and we will be also asked to join to a telegram group actually and in that group they will be providing the details of the t-shirts that has to be printed the standees that which you have to take and go uh, let me just show you the template and this is the standee template which is uh, provided by them it is provided actually in uh, telegram and in that page this is how you need to create a standee of your team and you need to take and go and it is compulsory and along with that we'll be having the t-shirt designs the logos all the templates will be provided by them along with the size details and everything and we chose uh, black color actually and uh, this is the initial process before uh, getting into the hackathon let me tell you something more interesting we had lost the entire product code which we had built for the first six months the reason behind it is that uh, as i said earlier three members stepped out from our team and they had their contribution in the code and they were not willing to provide us the code so that we can move further and this all happened just one week before the grand finale imagine having just one week of time having to reconstruct the entire code that was supposedly built for six months and still standing as the winners of smart india hackathon 2022 and this is our journey and one more thing before the grand finale is that the travel cost will be reimbursed and the reimbursed cost doesn't mean that whatever travel mode you come it will be reimbursed it will be a sort of fixed amount based on the distance you are traveling and stuff with respect to a second class uh, train ticket sleeper and that is how uh, all the procedure before getting into the grand finale and uh, uh, just we completed all the procedures of the booking the train tickets and stuff like that for the reimbursement they will be asking a mandate form actually where the team leader's account details has to be provided and once the team leader's account details is provided after the hackathon the reimburse amount will be credited here this is how it uh, actually works and uh, we need to be present at the grand finale location one day before the hackathon because uh, our hackathon was scheduled on uh, 25th and 26th that is a 36 hour hackathon starting on 25th morning so we were present at the location at uh, 24th we started our travel at 23rd night and that was a great uh, journey throughout to the location we worked throughout the night we were set up and 24th is the preparation day so we can go to the location that is we went to ACS engineering college we were provided a desk so that we can make the plans and strategies for the a hackathon that is coming in the next day and uh, the way they took care of was something spectacular which we never imagined i have taken part in multiple hackathons but the way they cherished us the way they took care of us hats up to acs college of engineering then comes the 36 hour hackathon so the next day the hackathon was inaugurated by uh, dr mile sami another right the moon man of india and he also specifically told about our idea <laughs> Idea, which is basically uh, an alternative for OTP in his initial speech itself that we are waiting for a solution for that idea especially and we were the one who chose that and we were at the first desk itself and we had a good interaction with sir as well and that is how the day kicked off and somewhere around uh, six to seven hours we made all the plannings on how we are going to pitch for the first round the first round was uh, scheduled somewhere at around 1 p.m uh, on the first day that is after six hours of the kickoff of the hackathon and uh, in the first round is basically an ideation pitch in the ideation pitch you are going to tell about what exactly you are going to do what is your motive how you how is the end product going to be and in this round the judges will be telling their perspective on how you could improve the product or what is their exact requirement and what is wrong in your idea how you can improve it all the feedbacks from the judges will be received from your end and this is the start of the actual hackathon here because so far you would have prepared with some idea with a preconceived idea that this is how you're going to work only after coming to the hackathon location you will know what exactly is the need what exactly you have to do just like that it happened to us for an otp alternative we built a qr based authentication system the one question which the judge asked were unable to answer what will the people with button phones do 
so we didn't even think about that we just focused so much on the security and stuffs and all we thought that it will overlap everything but no the pinpoint first question was that and it definitely broke us in the first round itself we thought that okay it's done there then uh, following that the event was inaugurated by prime minister narendra modi in the evening and it was a great session as well and now it was a time where we had five teams actually as uh, competitors but we didn't at all feel like competitors actually we had a good conversation with uh, each other and each five of us were stranded with more or less the same kind of idea the qr based idea and stuff like that and uh, the second round was supposed to be held in the next day's morning and it's already late night around 12 hours have already passed and we have got uh, no idea now and we were like uh, brain struck that okay it's done we are uh, it's the end but all of a sudden a spark guess what that spark was wait until the next video dropping tomorrow cause i guess the video has already been long i don't wish to bore you any more and i hope our journey will be an inspiration for most of you because from such a situation which you have seen now that there was no possible ways for us to win smart india hackathon and we are here as the winners and the journey will continue in the video which i am uploading tomorrow and i hope it gives some value to you and we will try to make a hardware series as well for the next steps because we have communicated with multiple hardware winners of smart india hackathon 2022 let's see how it goes and i believe that we are adding value to your smart india hackathon journey keep supporting us we'll give our best signing off kemal das